I check? Oh, shit. Okay. Huh. Well, how you like that? I was actually unmuted the entire time. <laughs> Whoops. Hello. Okay, I've got to get logged back in. Okay, do we do do Everything seems to be capturing correctly. Okay. Good deal, good deal. Where we last left off, we just managed to rescue our little buddy Fenorian from being tortured because he's the good vampire that doesn't want to brutalize people. And apparently the, uh, the, the douche canoes didn't like that whole thing as a concept. But anyway, we have to meet him at the Blue Palace. <sighs> Brief recap of what's happening now. <clears throat> so, my day was actually rather uneventful. Uh, still had that tight muscle in the bag, but managed to get a little bit of workout in, so. Nice little light workout trying to not aggravate that tight muscle anymore. And hopefully, ah, I kind of stretch that out, but it is getting better, which is a good thing. Hmm, okay. So. Right before I got on, <coughs> it is like loud as hell for some reason. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so anyway, something that popped in my head right as I got on the stream, uh, I keep seeing these videos of guys criticizing these, uh, these dudes, TikTok Spice Kings. Oh, beautiful this night. Everybody that does not know what a TikTok Spice King is, basically an early 20s dude bro that, uh, likes to load up on, like, the nastiest combination of basically what a 13 year old would consider flaming hot. Usually the hottest thing they have is a jalapeno, which we'll get to in a bit. Then they load up with like uh, wasabi, which isn't hot, it's more like a chemical burn. And for some reason, they think that adding a fuck ton of Takis uh, somehow Pleased to see you in solitude, is supposed to increase the heat. It doesn't, but you know. Like I said, the hottest thing they have on there is like a jalapeno. And for some reason, whenever they eat it, they eat the stem. I do not know why they do that. Well, and of course, they have to mix them. Like, like I said, they have to mix this up. But all, like, they just like the most disgusting combo you can possibly imagine. And show it out of their head as fast as they can. The most disgusting way possible. It's absolutely gross as hell. Do not watch this, by the way. Especially if you're actually eating something. But, um... Yeah, for some reason, they have to be as nasty as possible about it. And smear it all over their face. The Jarl soldiers put a stop to it. Or at least this one dude. That's nothing. <coughs> Going by the name Spicy. Something happened in Carthold. Carthwatch was destroyed. Anyway, we'll get to him in a second. Uh, oh, another prerequisite is that uh, they always have to like do the whole thing where they open their mouth and show their tongue and like that. You know, again, adding to the gross level. They always have to say no reaction. While wow, like snot is running down their nose and their eyeballs are melting out of their head, and the question you actually give them something that's actually like several million Scoville hot, they prove themselves to be just like massive pussies. Pleased to see you in solitude, stranger. Okay, everybody is blah 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 blah. blah. But anyway. Dude, spicy, right? Kind of one of those dudes that's notorious for uh, basically copyright striking any video that criticizes him and like breaking copyright law. <laughs> well, he ended up uh, doing videos recently with his little sister, who is 13 years old. One is disturbing to the city and thinks that it's a good idea to get his little sister involved in this, doing the same shtick that he's doing. Especially when she has clearly nowhere near the uh, 
that same tolerance level he does. I mean, you can see it when you watch it, if you actually watch it. Perfectly, perfectly watch, like, August the Duck or something like that. So, you know, don't actually watch Spacey's actual video. Unless you like it grossed out. But, uh, you know, if you ever see this, even a clip of this, you can tell that this kid has, like, he's absolute, he's, she's not digging it. Now, here's the really disappointing thing. The Spacey community, instead of people going on about, oh, hey, she's so cute, she's adorable. You know, awesome little girl. You get these fucking freaks pop out of the word. Turn out of the table and smash. In the case of a stock clock is right twice a day, Spicy himself commented, dude, she's 13. And, like, yeah, yeah, guys, um... You might want to... Maybe step away from the internet. For, for, five, for five minutes, five minutes, just five minutes. Okay, go out, walk down the street, see who's walking the dog. Something. <coughs> just... out how to actually interact with a human. Because some of these guys are just fucking wackos. Okay, that was, uh, <laughs> one moderate disappointment for today that, uh, kind of makes you think, you know, if the end of the world's coming, can we just drop the other shoe already? <laughs> okay, so, Vampire Skull, I returned to the Blue Palace. Here we are. <coughs> Wait a minute. Okay, inventory's good. Notifications. I keep forgetting. Oh, shit. Then I have drops enabled. So if you hang out long enough, you can get free crap. <coughs> of course, you can actually tolerate my... Uh, Constant throat clearing. And it's the dumbest thing. I moved my camera for some reason. I keep wanting to look at the old place that I used to have it. Hmm. So, if you see me randomly turn my head to the wrong direction, well, that's why. Hello, anybody home? See Elsa sitting over there. Instead, no, we don't get Elsa if we get this fucker. You are welcome here, Fenorian of House Ravenwatch. I. I don't know what to say. You're back! Lyris was just making introductions and was about to give her report. Why don't you tell me what happened? Okie dokie. By all the Mead and Sovngarde, it's good to see you and the others. Your vampire scholar seems out of sorts, but I'm glad to make his acquaintance. Lyris tells me you ran into a bit of trouble. Care to explain? Yeah, I think I captured you. They kind of did some funky things to him. I think his butt's going to be a little sore for a little while. <clears throat> yeah, we killed the vampire leader, and uh, we also got a map and documents. And I can't wait to hear all the details. In the meantime, let's take a look at what you found and try to devise a plan. Lyris didn't say much, but she indicated that time is short. Here, take this. You deserve a lot more, but it's all I can spare. So to Silver Wolf, is that a mount or a pet? The information you brought back from Blackridge might give us a fighting chance. Let's put our heads together and figure out how to use what you learned. My father be damned. Okay, so some Gallus dude is dead. We brought back a map. Uh, he's communicating. The enemy is calling himself as the Grey Host. The Grey Host? Where have I heard that name? Meanwhile, my father rounded up the Herald and moved his soldiers to the outer walls. Then he ordered the Quartermaster to stockpile Castle Dawa. He's preparing solitude to withstand a long siege. And you don't agree with that? That might work against a mob of Reachmen, but thick walls can't stop a Herald storm. Any war we try to wage will be over before it starts if we don't find a way to stop them. Fen knows more about the storms than anyone. See what he suggests. Alright, I'll go talk to him. 
Talk to Fen. If he has any bright ideas, I'd love to hear them. Magister Fridelia has been studying the Ice Reach Coven medallion, but she hasn't had a lot of success. She seems even less confident about reproducing their protective enchantment now. Does she have to learn anything that might help? She identified <coughs> necromantic components as part of the enchantment, as well as reach rituals. But she isn't an expert on either type of magic. Frankly, I think she's exhausted the scope of her knowledge. Okay, so did you get anything that we were getting Finn back? You mean other than hounding my father and serving as go-between for the Jarl of Morthal and the Magister of Carthal? I wrangled promises out of my father and showed our allies that someone in solitude still cares. Wait a minute, what kind of promises? I got High King Svargrim to promise to dispatch soldiers to reinforce Morthal's defenses and send aid to Carthwatch. It's a start, but he hasn't actually issued the orders yet. I need to follow up with him after we're finished. So he doesn't think there's an actual threat yet, does he? Sort of. He admits he might have been wrong about the Ice Reach Coven, as far as that goes. But he still glares daggers whenever anyone mentions you or Lyris. So let's not bring up Fen, all right? Yeah, it's actually a pretty good idea if he uh, doesn't know that Fen's here. <coughs> Where are you, buddy? It's all right. I'm ready to help. I... I know what you need me to do. Put my experience behind me. Focus on the mission, just like Verandas taught me. Could you show me the research you recovered from Exarch Singalis' laboratory? Yeah, I got notes here on werewolves and nether roots and weird potion made from both of that shit. Uh, I thought a bunch of other weird crap. These notes prove my theory. Nether root is the key component of the Harrowstorm ritual. It's like a poison for the soul. Weakens the bond to the body so it can be pulled free. They're harvesting life energy from anyone caught in the storms. Why would they do that? I'm guessing, but it may have something to do with those stone husks we saw. Remember how the werewolf emerged from one? And look at the mixture you retrieved. It isn't like the residue we recovered from the witch pike. It's more concentrated. Huh. So you think they're using that to make the storm stronger? It's certainly what Singolus's notes imply. Despite how it looks, a plan is formulating in my mind. I think I can create an elixir, but I'll need more of this refined netherroot brew. And we need to solve the mystery of the coven medallions. Okay, so... Does anyone have any idea where you get all this crap? I... I know what you need me to do. Put my experience behind me. Focus on the mission, just like Verandas taught me. Wait a minute. Could you show? We already did this. Uh-oh. Why does it feel like I'm about to crash? It feels crashy. Non-combat pet. Hey, we have a dog now. So I don't know how to get rid of this. Wow, 
there is a wagon stick. by all these little thingies that pop up. It's like when you see a little red dot next to your YouTube icon on your phone. Just drives you absolutely insane until you can figure out what the hell is making that, you know? Oh, Ember's bird. See those marks? Gray host sites that correspond to the communique we found. I know a commander's map when I see one. Each of those marks matches a location mentioned in the communique from Rada al Saran, the leader of the Gray Host. I can already see where we need to go. Okay, what do you think? That mark on the northwest coast, that's an Ice Reach Coven camp. The communique mentioned needing more medallions. Odds are, they come from there. And here, a Midland camp between Dragonbridge and Morthal. It's a staging ground for the Harrow Storms. Okay, so let's get the Nether Root Brew. More than likely. <coughs> these two locations should provide what Fen needs to finish his elixir. We can't bet everything on that, though. The communique mentions a Warlord's camp in Blackreach. Maybe we can learn more about their ultimate plan there. Okay, so this is a lot of ground. Either we split up, or this is going to take a long-ass time. Svana, Fen, and I will divvy up the camps and scout ahead. Fen should investigate the coastal camp. I'll take the Midlands camp. That leaves Svana with Blackreach. Meet up with each of us when you're ready. Then we'll hit each camp in turn. Okay, so what do you expect to find at these camps? We don't have a lot of solid details, just what we've pieced together from the Grey Host's notes and communique. But I'll answer your questions the best I can. Which camp did you want to ask about? All right, let's talk about this Midlands first. The Grey Host isn't just hiding in Blackreach now. They're mounting an invasion, and this appears to be their primary staging ground. I expect they're stockpiling witch pikes, Grey reliquaries, and other supplies here, including the refined brew. All right, the coastal camp? From what I can tell, the camp on the northwest coast is where the Coven first made landfall from Ice Reach. It's as close to a home base as they've got. They've established themselves there, so I'd expect it to be well defended, if not fortified. So what makes you think this is where the medallions come from? The communique mentioned orders to produce more of those medallions, probably to keep pace with the increase in Harrow Storms. I can't guarantee this is the coastal camp where the orders were sent, but it's the only one on the map. All right, let's go back to this Black Reach camp. That's the one we know the least about. But it's where a lot of the Grey Host's warlords are gathering. At least according to the communique. It's the best place I can think of where we can get a look at those orders the Ashen Lord mentioned. All right, then. Avengers, move out! I can lie, that dog is way bigger than the cat.
unless I tried talking to her once before, because she kind of stands out like a sore thumb. And of course, she didn't know she had the beans to say, so. I get the impression he's important for something. It's kind of the thing, you know, it's like every time you see a named character, you know, there's some reason why that person is there. Protect your favorite. Dwarven gear, trash. Really? Is it really trash? I mean, if you know how to melt it down, <coughs> maybe it's not so trashy after all. Okay, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Not crazy about the Tai Chi one. Uh, I'm looking for an emote that actually has a little bit of that magic thing going on. It's like Amber does the thing with the uh, the lightning. So you can do that one looks the least insane.
Ah, bueno, está aquí, ok. blessing and it's already outclassed okay so far step three house level 20 versus every first step at 1108 no doubt it would be a stew. I'm gonna keep the prophet's bow. Woodworking. Why would there be clothing in woodworking? Oh, shield. That's what I'm currently wearing. That's what needs to go. Ta-da! Okay. here. Research. Is there anything to research? <clears throat> nope. Don't break those apart. It's kind of funny. It's like you kind of want to go with light armor, but at the same time, it's not how the encumbrance system works in this game. Now, if it was like Oblivion, Skyrim, yeah, that's it. That's how it would actually work, you know, the amount of weight. Which is what usually behooves you to go light armor. Because, well, heavy armor is, you know, just that. Heavy.
جیده دتری جوتا something Ooh, the heck? shit. Well, it's all still crap, I'm still gonna get rid of it. I thought she was the maid, and I was just like, that's a big maid. The Black Sap Rebellion is all but gone. I heard the Vine Dusk Rangers used a mercenary to shut them down. <laughs> This guy's mustache going a little too far over the top. Oh. I think I found water. I also have the grease for poisons. Which actually, if you think about it, doesn't really make a whole hell of a lot of sense, but you know, whatever. Thank you. 
Okay, so that is all of it, right? Timber! If I can remember where the hell the damn jump button is. Enjoying the host. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, okay. Okay, so used to be everything I had in the inventory. Alright. Find a merchant, sell off all the crap that I made. the basement of the blue palace has a new ghost a couple months ago one of the kitchen staff fell down hit her head and died oh but you probably want to buy some armor don't you not from you you seem to have something clearly wrong with you just excited the fact that somebody fucking died jesus christ you ever hear about someone cursed to have droga follow them because i think that's happening to me Oh, you're probably thinking I should pull myself together and sell clothing. So sorry. Uh, do you, do you need help? You know, never mind. Everything you got is kind of garbage. Can I be sold? Okay. Looks like the only thing I can do with that is throw it in the trash. to see you in solitude, stranger. Kind of funny in this game, you walk around, you see these big old puffed up Nords talking about, you know... You know, Nord this, Nord that, blah 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 blah. They all get back in the Skyrim proper. <laughs> shorts and copper shoes. <clears throat> Looking like, what? Okay, so... Where am I going? I'm going straight back into town so I can use the fast travel station instead of fucking around like an idiot riding around on the horse. Which isn't actually a horse anymore. <coughs> 
Pleased to see you in solitude, stranger. Okay. I keep getting screwed up with the controls in this game and like proper Bethesda game controls. So I figure it's probably a good idea to get the coastal camp first. Okay, so this is where the uh the medallions are coming from to keep it safe from the storm. Hopefully covering the supply. Yeah! Ow! We'll end up slowing the roll. Looks exactly how fast they start farting these things out. the fact this thing parts on a proper fireball. Remember to have lunch first. Ah, oh, good. I was hoping you'd show up. Lyris was right. This camp is crawling with the Ice Reach Coven. And they're definitely producing the medallions here. I was even able to slip away with one. We need to get closer, though. Uh, closer how? There's more to figuring out this magic than just watching from afar. I need to know exactly how they go about creating them. With your help, we can learn everything about that here in this camp. All right, so what exactly is the story on this camp? It's a landing site for the boats coming from the island of Ice Reach. Plus, they're collecting something here that goes into the process of creating the medallions. If you can get me to the center of the camp, I can learn what that is. All right, Rip and Tear Time. Determining how they create these medallions will be an enormous help. The Grey Host has accelerated their plans. They need more medallions for a reason. A big harrow storm is coming. We need to be ready. So what do you think we need to know is going to be at the center of the camp? Because the Grey Host is guarding something down there. I couldn't get close, but it appeared that they built the camp to surround something. Plus I heard a few of the witches talking. Complaining, really, about needing to prepare more medallions. All right, then. What do you know about this Greyhose thing? In the first era, an army of vampires and werewolves tried to conquer the land before they were stopped in Vankarai. They called themselves the Grey Host. It seems this Radha al Saran has resurrected the army, both figuratively and literally. All right, then. Locked and loaded. Go away. Corpse? 
forces. What do they have to do with the medallions? Let's examine the nearby graveyard. Examine the headstones. Let's determine what's so special about the exhumed bodies. Brokill. Hear this Brokill, but those son heard her died in his sleep, old as Skyrim. What the? Okay. Well, old fart dead. Uthbet, son of royal chief killer, and old as the hills were born, he passed on the... There must be something that connects these graves to the medallions. He passed on the privy with a heaping of scorn. Uh, privy is short for private house, or it's the shitter. So basically, uh, apparently they shit himself to death. That's, um, that's gross. Run through red bandits, or scaring with the old and wise. Look at the corpulent, old as the hist. This mother of Merkmire scholar of our ways, she died of heartbreak. So far, it seems like all the exhumed graves had in common that they were all old. This stone lies her like the bastard, a tired old waster and brother of Jor that I lay about in life. Frozen a blizzard. Finished? Have you come to any conclusions? Well, this is gonna be weird. Well, we've both been over the headstones with a fine tooth comb. If we can determine why the coven dug up these particular bodies, it will tell us something about how the medallions were enchanted. Okay, let's talk about exactly what we found. Of course. Compare notes and look for commonalities. You have the makings of a fine scholar, my friend. Now, let's see. I noticed there were a mix of different races buried here. They weren't all Nords. Anything strike you about the departed? Well, they all had something in common when they were alive. Really? What was that? So they'll do the same kind of work. Actually, no, they didn't. Let's well, turn over. We've, of course. Compare notes and you know, something in common when they died. They did. Tell me more. They were all old. Of course. Why oh, didn't I see that? The headstones on the exhumed graves all mentioned that the person was old when they died. Let me think. Some necrotic spells require the remains of the elderly. Something to do with the natural decay of life. Okay, what in the hell? Something got messed up with my... Freaking phone app keyboard, what the hell? Give me one second here. Okay, okay, there we go. I 
the cord of my controller is sitting just slightly in the right spot to end up fucking with buttons on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to do a match with the Cave of Life. What? According to one necromantic theory, the older a living thing becomes, the more necrotic energy it naturally acquires. As a body grows old and withers, the life inside it decays. Necrotic energy is the byproduct of this deterioration. And that's not enough for these medallions, though, is it? I now know enough <coughs> about how they create the medallions to move my research along. I'll return to the Blue Palace and start putting an elixir together. Okay, you need me to do anything else? To fully craft an elixir to defend against the Hera storms, I still require a sample of refined netherleaf brew. Plus, we need to determine what the Grey Hurst has planned. Help Lyris and Svana at the other camps. Then meet me at the Blue Palace. All right, we'll do. Squeak, 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 and squeak. Plumbe. Magister Eren never let me watch him do this. It's so interesting. You always take me to such nice places. There might be something good in there. there. Might be nothing. You never know unless you check. These rats will learn it is not okay to be a rodent in my game. Blech. This is the has got the hint.
know, I'm not entirely sure it's actually worthwhile to go through this. It's not this time. I think I better just go ahead and stay focused. first. Okay. It's kind of done. I mean, that was probably a little bit more expensive than I wanted to throw at it. That's why that was so expensive. Funny fighting the wolves. You got the dog walking around. Kind of reminds me of an old joke. Guy walks in an antique shop. Sees the shop owner, he sees the shop owner's dog. <coughs> he walks in and says, So, uh, does your dog bite? The shop owner says, Nope, my dog doesn't bite. The shop owner goes up to bit the dog. <laughs> I thought you said your dog didn't bite. That is not my dog. You best turn around and head back the way you came, Traveler. It's not safe here. Um, hi. If you're heading to more Casco to trade, don't bother. Damn mine collapsed and the whole clan's on edge. The fact that Chief Urzik and Overseer Thulsgreg are at each other's throats doesn't help. Typical. The mine collapse, you say? Yeah. I don't know all the details. Just heard a loud rumble and miners scrambling out of the mine, shouting and coughing. Oh. Yeah, Some workers are still trapped inside. Not sure what the Chief plans to do about it, honestly. Ugly business. And they just cracked like two gunshots in my ears. Oh. Maybe one might have caused that collapse. Depends on who you ask. Some members of the clan blame the chief. Not out loud, mind you. Others blame the overseer for not falling in line. Either way, the clan won't last long without the mine. If you wanted to lend a hand, nobody would stop you. 
Now I'll see what I can do. Chief Urzik's smart. Brave as they come. But I've got to tell you. Part of me wonders if she went too far with her new mining methods. Progress, am I right? If you try something new, be ready to take your lumps. So what is this about this Chief Urzik? She's strong. But her methods don't always sit well with the clan. She earned her place as chief, no question. But where orcs are concerned, a little progress goes a long way. Push things too far, and people start getting their tusks in a twist. And who's this overseer? Those Greg runs the clan's mining operation. He would have ruled the clan if Chief Urzik hadn't challenged him. He still holds a grudge, I think. Hard to blame him. Our clan's never been too strict with tradition, but he'd love to change that. Well, one of those guys. All right. See what I can do. It's gonna be on the back burner, though. <laughs> Go wandering around Skyrim, and we just walking along the professionally maintained Imperial path just to find a several thousand year old set of stairs on the ass end of nowhere. It's like uh, there's this thing. It originally showed up on, uh, I think, like a creepy pasta or something like that. I was talking about stairs in the woods. Some idiot trying to make this sound like some goofy paranormal event. Actually, no. It is actually rather common to find stairs in the woods. You want to know why? Because the woods that are in question used to be a town in the 1800s or later, earlier. I'm going to have to replace the dog with the cat because I keep shooting the dog. just talking about because I could have swear I had more to add to that. <coughs> and I got sidetracked by the damn dog. <laughs> there's three wolves attacking me. Oh, wait, there's actually only two. Hi. Strange things travel the roads of western Skyrim these days, friend. I suggest you find shelter before too long. In the meantime, can I interest you in my humble wares? Uh, can I interest you in, like, a facial scrub? You've got some, uh, you got some pop marks there. Well, anyway. Should just come back to Dragon Ridge. Let's go fast. Kill score first. Tails, I just thought about shit. Yeah. That's gonna bug me until I remember what the fuck I was trying to say.
enchant something with that? Can I what? Angry Bacon. Arrived. Don't worry, I found something to keep me occupied. Okay. Huh, a bottle of werewolves. Okay. <coughs> yes, I still have a grudge for them. Caldwell or rabbits. A bold move setting up camp in the midst of the western hogs. I'll say this for the Grey Host. They aren't afraid to draw attention to themselves. I learned a few things while I was waiting for you to show up. All right, what do you got? <coughs> it's just as we thought. The Grey Host is using this camp as a supply depot for their raids across the countryside. I saw stacks of witch pikes, rows of reliquaries, and jars of what I assume is the refined netherroot brew. I'll fence him if you that for his elixir. Right. And I heard the camp leader, a nasty creature named Sableye, tell his troops to make sure to use the new supply that just arrived from Blackridge. Let's go grab a jar or two. And then smash the shit out of the rest of them. Well, maybe. <coughs> Never know we might actually need some of that. <coughs> I do not appreciate that. Solitude bedtime stories. Night bag full of nickel. Uh, what do we have here? Hmm. No jars in this cart. Let's try another one.
can't because object is too far away. <coughs> Even though you're standing around on top of it. Not this card either. I hope we didn't miss it. Indeed. I don't know what it is about these things. I see it, I have to grab it. I'm going to find this dude. I need to get up there. <coughs> leaving? Fine. Let me know when you're ready to get back to it. I'm not leaving, goddammit. How do I get up there? Runestone at first. You got a jar of the refined brew? Let's talk over here. Huh? Expert Ogre Harvester. Okay. 
something about that kind of wanted to come out as her skipperable. Luck was with us. If we had reached this camp even a few moments later, Sable I would have gotten away with the nether root brew. Okay, let's go until we found at the lab. After all this trouble, Fen better be able to use it to make his elixir. I'll take the jar of refined nether root brew to solitude. We'll meet up in Svanos chambers when everyone gets back from their missions. I hope they're all right. Hmm, seems like you have a little soft spot for those two. Fen has proven himself, especially after what happened in Blackreach. House Ravenwatch, they're unusual as far as bloodsuckers go. As for Svana, she's braver than I originally thought. Anyway, meet me in solitude after you finish up. All right, what else am I doing? In addition to the refined nether root brew, Fen needs information on the Ice Reach Coven medallions. Plus, we're hoping to learn more about the big storm the Grey Host has planned. Help Fen and Svana at the other camps, then meet me in solitude. Okay, so Fen should be back at the Blue Palace. We learn more about the medallions at the camp. Glad to hear that worked out. With any luck, Fen will produce a working elixir in short order. Then we can stop worrying about the Harrow Storms and concentrate on defeating the Grey Host. Which reminds me, go to the Blackreach camp and aid Svana. On it. Okay, which means... Boom. Cavern. Legendary long forgotten realm searching beneath Skyrim. Uh, I don't think we've actually managed to actually still get uh, all the areas down here uncovered yet. I have to straighten my leg up before my foot falls asleep. Skyrim version. Then we have the online version that is just so much bigger. There's so much more stuff down here. Like whatever the fuck this shit is. Bastion Sanguinaris. This is where things get very weird because this is not dwarven architecture. I know this actually looks a little bit closer to Dark Souls.
the first player helps go. This is nuts. Look at all this shit. That sucks. Let me see just how huge this is. It's like, how the hell does anything up top actually stay functioning? Instead of just crashing through the ceiling, just kerplop. It's always the most irritating mood item in all of Scarum is the Deathhound collar. What do you do with it? Other than just sell it. Excellent job, Tenny. Everybody looks tiny.
Just did. Open says me. Cat dawned on me. I was more interested in getting into the uh, keep. I think I'm here early. Bethesda, the software developer, they added that. I think it's Bethesda, the corporate, the corporate company. It's like making as much money as possible. It's doing that. I can't wait to see what you're going to do with that. All I gotta say that is this is definitely a step in the wrong direction. So I made sure that I uh, reverted my particular Skyrim back to the one that actually works with all my mods. Skyrim. The game is over 10 years old. You're done. Focus on Elder Scrolls 6 instead of trying to focus on every last fucking cent. Out of the great untapped market of mods. The whole point of mods is the fact that they're for enthusiasts. Supposed to be free. Because these enthusiasts want to share what they have with the world. Because for modders, it really is all about the expression. Being able to actually customize things however you want it. You only just throw stuff that you'll want in there. You know, it's like Starfield right now. There's actually a Modded outfit, which is the R's dress from Mass, uh, Mass Effect 3. Also, Massacre. Okay, this is very much dwarven. Which the question what the fuck is what I'm doing here? Something 
need way shrines out here. Dark Moon Grotto. So that uh, we're a little loud. So the last one was a little, a little cautious because I still got that tight muscle. It's better than it was, but at the same at the same time, it's still kind of tight and makes movement a little tricky. Free mods is, like I said, being free and putting whatever you want in. Don't have to worry about copyright nonsense. You're not making any money off of it, so you can just do what you want. So I assume it's an executive big wig. It doesn't know shit from beans about what they're actually trying to monetize. They know how to monetize, but they don't actually know anything about the actual, you know, anything about the video games, the game that they're trying to monetize. The community they're trying to screw over. I think it's kind of funny how every time EA releases a single player game, they kind of prove their own philosophy wrong. There was a thing a while back, some good quality EA said there was uh, no money in single player games. This is like around the, I think one of the, honestly, like Battlefield 5 ish time? Or actually, I think it was earlier than that. service. And here's the thing, games as service, things like, you know, uh, was it Battleborn? Some of them work, most of them die. I think the ones that work are starting to die out a little bit because people are kind of getting sick of that shit.
last uh, couple of years. It's kind of funny. I mean, it's uh, games as service games, live service games, no longer exist. <coughs> I don't think you're the first to camp here. Lots of fresh tracks. Get some rest. The guards will watch over us. Start talking about live service games kind of dying out, and here I am playing an MMO. Breathe. God damn it, run! Damn these hero storms and what they do to my people. Sorry, you okay? I came here to learn what the Grey Host has planned, and what did I find? Good citizens of the holds, afflicted by the hero storms and kept prisoner for some ungodly purpose. No matter how many I set free, the herald will not leave this place. Have you had an opportunity to at least scout the camp? That's all I've been doing, and trying to get these afflicted people to leave this place. The herald, the storm robs them of their will, their minds. I wasn't able to slip deeper into the camp, though. Okay, so Greyhost is planning a big storm. We need to find out exactly what's going on with that shit. Agreed. There appear to be a number of Greyhost warlords in the camp, so discovering their plans should be possible. We need to be careful, though. I don't want us to wind up like the Herald, serving as food for these bastards. So while you're scouting out, what did you find? Messages have been coming and going since I arrived. I've heard the name Radha Al Saram. The Ashen Lord spoken in hushed and revered tones. His name was on the communique you found, remember? We need to get down there and see what else we can learn. Okay. What exactly are they doing down here? Hiding, <coughs> building their forces, digging, undermining. That's the correct term, I think. Plus, they're collecting the Herald, herding them like cattle. It's monstrous what they're doing to these poor people. Uh, you, know, you are kind of supposed to be a royal. Are you sure you're supposed to be down here? I mean, this is kind of a bad idea. The only thing I'm sure of is I have to try. If my father won't act, then it falls on me to get things done. It's... It's what my mother would want me to do. All right, then. Let's keep in mind, this is not a safe endeavor. Princess is a royal, which means this is a political figure. It's kind of funny how many, uh, especially Americans, kind of take for granted the idea of choosing your leaders. Because, like in a true monarchy, you don't get to choose the leader. The leader is whoever is the son of the previous. Well, specifically, the son of the previous leader. The princess is usually used as a bargaining chip. At least that's how it's been throughout antiquity. He goes, Big Man whatever. Look, on the scaffold. That's eavesdrop on those werewolves. Okay, did 
just smells a data out there. Praxis wealth grinding stone. Huh. Okay. Interesting. seen Rada El Saran, our Ashen Lord, so feel this sorrow, or such rage. Does the loss of the Exarch alter our plans? Not in the least. A strike on Solitude will occur as planned after Exarch Ulfra tests the approved ritual in the Underground. An attack on Solitude? We need to move quickly. We can throw a monkey into this wrench, the better. left the orders in my tent, but the Ashen Lord was clear. We need more Netherroot. See to the Undergrove immediately. As you command, please talk. The Undergrove? That sounds important. The Grey Host definitely has something big planned. Let's search the tents for a copy of those orders. Okay, he did.
<coughs> so you can just stop the spirit of the Herald. I'll not abide any through threats to our gold. My family will be delivered from the torment. And not even Molly Bella himself can stop me. To that end, we must accelerate our, all our efforts. All preparations regarding the attack on Solitude must be complete post haste. To that end, make sure everything will be for court. The Undergrove is where a location is hidden and secured inside the ancient barrow, which fell into the earth <coughs> for just this purpose. Testing ground for the next stage of the, the Harrow Storms. Looks like both for us should lead those efforts and prepare the way for the final Harrow Storm. Pray host victorious. Let's right, surround the Ashen Lord. That's what we were looking for. Let's talk over there. Well, that's kind of messed up, but they'll actually just assign everything he puts uses. What in the hell is going on out here? from Rada al Salam. His words sent a chill down my spine. Their plan for solitude? It might even be more dreadful than an all-out attack. We need to get back and determine the exact location of this undergrove place. So you think solitude's actually in danger now? Okie fucking dokie. This is Amity Beast family. Okay, blah 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 blah. Of vampires and werewolves working together, let alone talking about one another like brothers and sisters. It's not natural. Well, we got orders, hopefully, this will give it advantage. I'm glad I got to look around Blackreach, but I can't wait to see the sun and sky again. No matter how big these caverns are, it still feels like we're buried alive down here. Right. Anything else we need to do? We came down here to find out what the Grey Host has planned. But Fen still needs information about how the medallions are created and a sample of the refined netherroot brew. Help Fen and Lyris at the other camps. Then meet me in solitude. Good news. Already did that. Then we're done here. I hope we found enough to end the threat of the Grey Host. I'll meet you back at the Blue Palace. Good luck, my friend. So I'm not sure what was up with her just like disappearing halfway through that. I can try tiptoeing around all that shit, or I can just say the hell with it and run through. Don't underestimate us. Stuff. Thank you, motherfucker. This is the next hour and a half getting lost down here.
appreciate the snow and solitude, but at the same time, uh, I kind of prefer when it's at least you know work like overcast. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've seen snow on the Fourth of July, but in Colorado, but uh, I kind of prefer the way I hope you're in. Dwarf of the Isles. Crap.
huge as Yoda's. And I cannot just buy those, can I? Uh. That's annoying. Into the fountain. I'm working with hawker skin to see if I can turn it into a good leather option for lighter armor. It's difficult to say the least, but I'm getting closer. Finally, someone that's not completely insane. stuff, dust and fangs, bait, I hope you're in. That shit around. Right. Well, good to know. Okay, so this ought to be good. So, do we have a way to defend against the Harrow Storms or what? The elixir should do what we need, provided neither Fen nor I made any miscalculations. 
Nolan, don't be so negative. The elixir will work. We'll see. Sir. Oh, good. You're back. Nolan and I have been discussing the various ways to turn what we've got into a protective elixir. I'm hesitant to get too excited, but I think we've figured out how to defend against the Harrowstorms. All right, so what you got? The Grey Host uses an unstable mix of alchemy and sorcery to create the Harrowstorms. An arcane ritual and the Netherroot brew focus the power of each Harrowstorm through the prepared witch pikes. Ingenious, but fully exploitable. Okay, how? We can use the refined brew as the basis of our elixir. Now that we understand how the Harrowstorms are created, we can use those same components to replicate the medallion's protective properties. We just need to gather the necessary components. All right, what do you need? Svana's associates, Mog, will procure most of the supplies I need. But there's one final ingredient required. For various reasons, I can't simply walk into the Hall of the Dead and claim it myself. I need you to acquire Arke's sacred oil. Arke's sacred oil. What? What the fuck? A holy ointment associated with the god that became popular due to imperial influence. It's used by the priests in the Hall of the Dead to provide protection against necromancy and the undead. We need that oil to create our elixir. Ah. <sighs> Protects against necromancy and the undead, which means basically if he touches it, his hand burns off. Breeze? Exactly froze here. I, okay, game's going. I think I froze. Yep, I froze. Okay. It's not a Skyrim stream unless you're not Skyrim streaming the Elder Scrolls Online screen without something crapping out and freezing up entirely. Not responding. One second. Okie dokie. I always hate doing that. It's like, every time I try to start this back up, it's like you can see all the dirty laundry. Just like lying around the house, you know? Okay. Well, I'm back. And of course, OBS froze too, because why not? Well, the stream is still going. All the functions still work. But irritatingly. I just do everything on the phone now. Oh. Alright. Okay, so You'll need my help. I'll meet you at the Hall of the Dead. Mog, put away the tankard and get the supplies Fen requires. Yes, your royal ladiness. But I'm keeping the tankard. I could stop fucking yawning. Oh, Rick. 
refugees arrive by the hour. Why does Svagrim hesitate? The High King issues orders, but all they do is lock away the afflicted. When will we strike back? Princess Vanha, what can I do for you, Your Highness? Listen to my friend, High Priest. We need your help. Hi there. I'm surprised to see the princess here. As you can see, the influx of refugees has made this place much more hectic than usual. Is there something I can do for Princess Svana? Yeah, we need Arcade's sacred oil. Sacred oil? Strange. That's the second time today someone has come seeking Arcade's anointing balm. Wait, what? Swordthane Arthlet arrived with an edict from the king. Demanded our entire supply. How we're to consecrate the dead without it, I have no idea. Wait, why would he want all the oil? The sword thing wouldn't say. He just mentioned that the High King needed it to defend solitude. I'm sorry I can't comply with the princess's request. Things are hard enough that these refugees must take shelter here among the dead. Do you know where he took the oil? The sword thing took the oil to Castle Dower. That's where all the supplies for a siege are gathered during periods of strife. I pray that High King Svargrim receives the patience and wisdom required to see us through this crisis. What else do you know about Castle Dower? Solitude's foundation began with the construction of Castle Dower. It's the oldest structure in the city, and the most defensible. I tried to move the refugees there for safekeeping, but my request was denied. The High King has other plans, I suppose. I'm sure he does. God damn it. Ember, we're moving. Uh, I'm slightly right now, Caster. I think this video is actively trying to sabotage us. Oh! The guild Dower requests your help. Princess Svana. Sword thing, our business is urgent. My friend will explain. Hi. I don't have time for the princess's proclivities right now. The High King? You barely keep up with the multitude of tasks. So speak quickly and let me get back to it. Yeah, the guild of the temple said you took all the sacred oil here. We need a little bit of it. My orders from the High King were clear. Stockpile the entire supply of sacred oil in the Temple of the Divines here within the confines of Castle Dower. What in Shore's name does the princess need with holy oil anyway? Uh, we're working on elixir to protect against the storms. We don't need much. Protection? Truly? The Herald already outnumber my soldiers and more arrive every day. Still, giving you the oil would violate the High King's Edict. I suppose if I happen to look the other way for a moment, I wouldn't notice if a flask disappears. Understood. Yoink. A single flask? Then we'll have to make do. Let's get it back to... Sword thing! Why has worked! I gave strict orders, yet my daughter freely enters the castle grounds. What do they want, sword? They, um... We came to offer our assistance, Father. Sword thing. How can we help? Arthlet has everything well in hand, child. Despite your intentions, you would only hinder our efforts. Go! The sword thing doesn't need my daughter or her wastrel underfoot. I know he's your dad, but this wouldn't be the first incredibly high ranking political figure I've managed to assassinate. Just just kind of pointing that out. That would feel really, really good right about now. My father's never been what I'd call a warm and caring parent. But this crisis has made him even more distant. Let's get this sacred oil to Fen. My father will certainly change his attitude once we present the protective elixir to him. Problem. Why doesn't he want us in the castle? 
He's trying to protect me. It's what he does. And leave me out. Though I suppose that's mostly my own fault. I know Mother's death weighs on him, as does this entire crisis. That's why we have to help. This elixir is going to work. It has to. Okay, yeah, but why seal off the old fortress? It's not that unusual. Castle Dower is the most defensible part of the city. In the past, we'd gather the people inside the walls. Now my father is using the fortress to house the Herald. They need to go somewhere, right? Come on, let's go. Something smells fishy about this whole situation. I definitely don't think it's the High King trying to keep everybody safe. Castle Dark, most defensible part of the city. Gold Harrowed. People who, for all intents and purposes, may as well be fucking livestock. Either this dude is a massive idiot, which I'm not ruling out, or he's actively trying to throw a wrench in our gears. Ready? I'll test the elixir. As you say, Lyris. Ah, here they come now. You have the sacred oil? Add it to the cauldron. Okay. <laughs> right, guys, I don't know what the hell you put in this shit, but Jesus Christ. Yes, the perfect fusion. It's ready to be tested. Right, you do know that the oil doesn't help the smell, right? With the addition of the sacred oil, the elixir is complete. Before we produce enough to distribute to the people of Western Skyrim, we need to test it. I'm confident of my work, but we're dealing with powerful forces here. Okay, when you say test it, what exactly is this going to involve, and how bad is this going to hurt? We can't wait for the next Harrowstorm to strike, but what you and Svana learned in Black might help. You heard that Exarch Ulfra was testing Harrowstorm rituals in a place called the Undergrove. We'll go there and let Lyris drink the elixir. Yeah, the heroes didn't mention the Undergrove. Didn't exactly say where, though. Some ancient burial. During my explorations of Blackreach, I came across an ancient burial site. A place called the Midnight Barrow. This Undergrove must be inside those ruins. Once there, you and Svana keep watch from a safe distance, while Lyris steps into the storm. Yeah, because this is totally just a massively wonderful idea that's never going to possibly fucking backfire, right? From what I could tell, the Midnight Barrow sank into Blackreach in the distant past. Somewhere in its chambers, we'll find the undergrowth. The ruined barrow is in the Lightless Hollow, in the northwest portion of the cavern. We'll meet you there. Okay, so, real quick, just to make sure we get this nailed down, how are we testing this? We're going to find an active Harrowstorm in the Undergrove. Or I'm going to attempt to replicate one in there. Then Lyris drinks the elixir, exposes herself to the dark magic, and we wait to see what happens. Believe it or not, I've heard dumber ideas. Very risky. But it's also our best chance to counter the Harrowstorms and fight back against the Greyhurst. Either Lyris come through fine, or she transforms into a Harrow. Or a Harrow Fiend. That's also a possibility. My dude, not filling me with all kinds of confidence on this shit. <sighs> okay.
have a psychographer's going to be um, the Necro. Okay. Try heading up the Dragon Bridge first. I think it'd be a little easier to jump over that shit. Honestly, me in the princess's room like that. Kinda of feels like we're a bunch of kids. Look it up at the clubhouse. <laughs> That's the thing about this, you cannot take shortcuts, otherwise you fall straight to hell. Just pull over dead. Wait a minute. That's the house.
Almost there. Well, almost on the right track, at least. I'm free of her. Um, hi. I escaped. I never thought I would escape. I... I have to get out of here. Are you okay? I am now. I think... I was part of a larger group heading into Greymore Keep. Lady Asenia. She was looking for some help. Promised good pay. But as soon as we stepped in the gates, we were attacked. They dragged away the others, and I... I ran. You just ran away. Well, that's not the whole of it. A Khajiit woman came to my aid. I've never seen someone move so quickly. It allowed me to escape. A Dusa, that was her name. She told me to find someone named Gwendis outside. But I have to go. I can't stay here. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for Gwendis. Quest log is full. All right, damn it. Fuck. I hate that. Okay, hold up. Quest Western Skyrim. Okay. Quick more more dom. this hollow. They say lightless hollow with all these mushrooms seems pretty well lit to me. to get this way shrine.
sure what happened there all of a sudden. Just, for whatever reason, spun? Why? Do not know. as he is tormenting me. I came to this terrible place to find his remains, but the tomb robbers have angered the dead, and I'm terrified to step foot into the barrel alone. Okay, maybe, maybe I can keep an eye out. Except the game won't let me because I've got too much shit in my quest log. What the fuck? Unfortunately, he has been have tomb. angered the dead, and what I'm terrified to step scattered foot into around the barrel like alone. and thieves. Okay, what your ancestors do to deserve a traitor's burial? My family only speaks his name to curse it. I'm told he betrayed his hold, so he was cast into the midnight barrel with other exiles and traitors, far out of reach of Sovngarde. I can't say whether he deserved that. But I know he suffered for it. Uh, how? Call it a feeling. What I've seen in my dreams are a jumble of incoherent events and feelings. There's little that I remember that makes any sense. But when I wake, there's a pall that hangs over me. Like I've been wrong somehow. Okay, what is really is this barrel? This place, I think. I've only seen glimpses of it in my dreams. It used to be a place where terrible criminals were exiled to be forgotten, until it met the same fate. Faded into myth, just like Blackreach. And what are Draugrkin? Ghouls picking the bones of the dead. Necromancers and the like. They seem to be the ones who found this old lost barrel. I don't know what they came here for, but they've disturbed Jarl Hagridden, and gods know what else. Great. inside the barrel. You and Fen stay put until we clear a path for the undergrowth. Fine. Just don't take all day. This is 
is it. Look lively and let's get on with it. I saw my ancestors' remains in my dreams, but I only know roughly where they are. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, normal. Tiny soap is always useful.
Okay. That's the wrong way. If you have something else more important to do, fine. I'll just wait here. This must be the place. I'll go back and get No them. need. We're here. The princess insisted. We followed at a safe distance and only advanced after you cleared the way. From this point on, we stay together. And that's an order. Um, yes. What she said. Now, let's enter the undergrowth. Alright, I guess where we go, a little tag along here, so, uh, yeah. This is gonna be a fun day. We need to find where they're experimenting with the Hera stones. You honor me with your presence, my king. Grey Host, stay quiet and listen. This Harrow Storm must be the biggest we have ever wrought, my sister in arms. That's the leader of the Grey Host. Have we heard from Solitude? Is everything in place? I have been assured this city is ripe for harvest. Vardal, Saran, and Axarch Ulfa. Should we postpone the test? Certainly not. The holds are counting on us. Besides, we might be able to end this threat right here and now. Problem. I mentioned something about the preparations in solitude. Somebody's on the inside. You, the murderers who killed our beloved Singalis. And you're about to join him. Impudent mortal! You will pay for your crime. Now for the rest of his curse. Allow me the honor of spilling the blood. Very well, sweet sister. I think it worked. I stood in a hero storm and nothing happened. Fen's elixir is a success. And we took out another one of the Grey Host leaders. We've done good, my friend. You're you're sure you're all right. Never better. We need to create as much of the elixir as possible and distribute it throughout solitude before Rada Alsaran's massive hero storm hits. I also want to find out who in the city is helping him. Let's meet back at the Blue Palace. All right, meet you there. Once my father understands that we have a way to protect against the hero storms, he'll have to take us seriously. Let's get back to the city as fast as we can. So, uh, what exactly just happened? I know, right? It happened so quickly. When we confronted Rada Al Saran and Exarch Ulfra, the vampire lord blasted Lyris with his magic. When I saw her fall, I knew I had to act. 
Yeah, he just like dropped her and left the rest <laughs> left the rest of the werewolf. That actually kinda worked out good for us. It certainly gave us a fighting chance. When she called forth the Hera Storm, I grabbed the elixir from Lyris and barely thought about what I was doing. I just drank it down and walked into the storm. That uh that actually sounds really gross. I don't disagree, but somebody had to do it. There wasn't any other option. And I'd do it again. My people are counting on me. All right, then. Where is he, okay? Tell me, do I have a new scar? <sighs> Enough with the coddling. Let's get back to the Blue Palace. Okay, oh wait, no, you don't, you don't have a new scar. Ben? You go on ahead. I'll make sure Lyris gets back to Solitude. All right, I got a thing to take care of here first. Provided, of course, my buddy is still in tow. Maybe so, maybe no. Unlocked, but at the same time, it's like this is kicking forever. Okay, how do I get up there without killing myself in the process? Away, huh?
I love it. You just stand here and somebody summons in something that just sounds like barf. Things are made of rope, apparently. And there's the palace hanging out in the princess's room. We're gonna lock the clubhouse door and play D and D for the rest of the night. Listen to your daughter, Smartly. We need to do something. Don't test me, Red Harm. I know exactly what I need to do. You know exactly what you need to do, really. Our enemies circle ever closer, and now even my daughter turns against me. What's next? Will my beloved wife return to accuse me of some heinous crime? Well, get to it. Tell me about Svana's miraculous elixir before I have the lot of you tossed out. Believe it or not, it works. She tested it herself. You represent my most hated enemy and expect me to believe a word you say? Even if you speak true, worms have found purchase in the wood and seek to rot my kingdom from within. I will not let solitude and the western holds fall. Look, I get it, you don't like me, but you should at least pay attention to your daughter. She actually, for some reason, still gives a shit. And honestly, dude, if I was really here, supposed to be your enemy, you'd already be dead. Trust Svana. Perhaps. No. No! Your honeyed words are but echoes of my most obstinate foes. You offer a miracle with one hand, while holding a poison dagger in the other. Will you pull your head out of your ass? Help! I need no help from the likes of you! Don't be a fool, father! This elixir will save our people! I didn't think you had it in you, daughter. You have actually surpassed my expectations, more's the pity. And I'll hear no more talk of this miracle elixir! Oh! The Grey Host is my true ally. Once the Harrow Storm engulfs solitude, my kingdom will endure for all eternity. I should have sensed it. Svargrim's a vampire. Svana, not now, Beerus. I... I need to think about this. Oh, there's a plot this week I saw coming from a mile away. Svargrim's a bastard, but King Yorin believed he had the best interest of his people at heart. Obviously, something changed. And with Solitude targeted for a massive Harrowstorm, things have gotten more complicated. Yeah, I th think they're probably already prepared to summon their little storm here, so uh, yeah, we might already be too late. Not everything is as grim as it appears. We did create an elixir. That's our best chance of protecting the people from the Harrowstorm. We just need to distribute it. In the meantime, take this. It may not seem like much, but you earned it. Father, how could you? My father, working with the Grey Host. How long has he been a part of this? Did he have a hand in Mother's death? And what has he told them? It's almost too much to bear. And then there's the Hero Storm. My friend, I don't know what to do. Just hang in there, we can get this done. You're right. 
I know you're right. It's just... He's my father. No. I have to focus. There's a Hellstorm coming. We have to save the city. That's what's important right now. Yeah, which means we need a way to stop it. I'm... I'm not sure we can. But we can make more of Fen's elixir. Get it into the hands of the people. We need more of Arke's sacred oil, though. We'll have to take it from the supplies stockpiled at the Temple of the Divines. Alright, I will break every last bottle here without to shoot those motherfuckers in the face myself. They've taken it! By the gods, it's fallen! Fallen? What? What are you talking about? The Grey Host. They came out of nowhere, captured the temple and the Tower of the Wolf. We're locked out! Then the sacred oil. Damn it all! I need to get down there! Follow him! Now, soldier, tell me exactly what happened. That should look a little on the zombie side. There is an urgent task for you. Uh, the the Grey Host has found a foothold. Now the city is lost. Not yet it isn't. On your feet, Sorthain. We have work to do. I... Yes, Princess Svana. Hey, dude. I apologize for that display. Tell the princess... Tell her it won't happen again. Dude, she's right here. You need to understand. I pledged my sword and my soul to the High King. We all did. And he betrayed us. Yeah, that's kind of the thing about it. When somebody gives an unethical order, you actually don't have to follow that. So, uh... What are they doing in there? And how do we get in? Nothing good, I'm sure. The Grey Host appeared out of nowhere and cut down my soldiers. Only a handful were able to escape before they sealed the gates. Svargrim made us fortify the entryways. The bastard knew he'd lock us out. So there's no other way to get in? Not that I can think of. But what does it matter? Svargrim brought the Grey Host down upon us. He's bringing a Harrow Storm. We need to evacuate the city while there's still time. Some of us will survive if we flee now. So you're giving up. That's unacceptable, Sarthane. If we can't get the sacred oil to make more elixir, then we have to stop the Harrow Storm. Princess, we've kept watch. There aren't any witch pikes around the city. Then you missed something. They needed the witch pikes for every other Harrow Storm they summoned. Of course. Blackreach. The Grey Host must have gained access to the temple from beneath the city. They could uh. easily hide the witch pikes underneath our feet. We know the Grey Host has been using Blackreach to clandestinely move around Western Skyrim. Why not launch their attacks from there? Then we're going back to Blackreach. If the Witch Pikes are there, we'll destroy them. Okay, that clears. Joran sent me with a warning for solitude. Now I'm about to march into the starless depths of Blackreach to try to avert a massacre. How do I keep getting myself into these kinds of situations? Well, that is kind of the job. If you don't want to, you don't have to go. I thought you knew me better than that. Taking on the impossible challenge, beating the unbeatable foe, this is what I'm good at. So yes, I do have to do this. And we're going to win. We have to. Thoughts about the High King? Svargrim. To cast his lot with the Grey Host, become a vampire, threaten his own people with a Harrow Storm. It's madness. One thing's for certain, we have to stop him. Indeed. I thought somebody said we had to do that. 
One step at a time. First we make our way down into Blackreach. Then we find the ritual site. It must be right beneath the city. We smash witch pikes and kill as many grey host bastards as possible. After that, we pray to Kine and hope for the best. Okay. Can I get the impression I was supposed to be standing about here? Where is this? My father, a vampire. He sat on his throne, pretended to mourn for my mother, and said he had a plan. But all the while, he was preparing the city for the Grey Host. He's worse than a monster. He's a traitor and a liar. Yeah, this is gonna get complicated. I... I know. It's just... Look, we were never close. Not really. But he's my father. My king. What about you? Could you do it? Could you confront and maybe even kill one of your parents? Well, in this case, I kind of have to. Such confidence. As sharp and as cold as my dagger's blade. Lives hang in the balance. But I'm conflicted about committing patricide. So, what do you plan to do? I'm going to do whatever I can to stop the Harrow Storm and save Solitude and its people. After that, we will decide what needs to be done about Svalgrim. Okay, look. Ben. As a junior member of House Raven Watch, I never expected to be in the thick of things like this. I have to say, it's a tad overwhelming. Are you going to be okay going back into Blackreach? Am I looking forward to going back to where Singalis experimented on me? Not even remotely. But I want to see this through to the end. I... I need to. So what do you think exactly we're going to find on there? The Grey Host can't summon the Herostorm without performing their ritual. And we know that requires witch pikes. So there's that. Plus the usual assortment of coven witches, vampires, and werewolves, I suppose. Nothing we can't handle, right? Damn right. I had hoped to secure the sacred oil and make enough elixir to distribute throughout the city. But we're running out of time. Our best bet now is to find the ritual site beneath Solitude and stop the Hairstone before it's unleashed. You know, we probably should have expected this. You're absolutely right. Especially after we found evidence of undermining. All I can say is that we were focused on other things. Let's go and save the city now, all right? All right. Okay, so when it comes to dealing with the High King, obviously he's gone vamp. Uh, obviously we know that vampires can, in fact, be good guys. Take Vamp, for example. But then there's the High King that's proving himself to be a complete and utter fucking idiot. That's new. I'm not too sure that's all about. Right. I just know that still drum thing is kind of cool. I kind of want one. <laughs> Which we 
means if you can <coughs> see something that's kind of cool, <coughs> chances are somebody paid for it. sure this is where I need to be. to the Black Reach. I keep saying it as long as I keep grabbing, you know, not grabbing stuff, but I do grab shit. Oh. Okay. I knew it was early they went over there. That's our target. The ritual site must be somewhere inside that horrid structure. I scouted the area before you arrived. It's full of Grey Host forces. And from what I could tell, Svagrim and Rada al Saran are both inside. Alright. Uh <sighs> Excuse me, good lord. Though I kind of poked around there earlier. Kind of stuck my nose where I wasn't quite ready to go. Um, this is going to be a bit of a burly brawl. Not so fast. If we rush down as a group, they'll be on us like a snow bear on a horker. You go ahead. Try to cross the bridge to the main entrance. It's well guarded, but you're more than capable. Or you could try the alternative. Uh, what exactly is the alternative? There's a sluice gate in the outer courtyard, tucked away against the keep's eastern wall. The few patrols in that area can be avoided if you're stealthy. Opening the gate requires a key, but that should be simple enough to find. Okay. Sounds like I got a pretty clear choice. You know your strengths and weaknesses better than I do. Play to those. But whichever path you decide, move quickly. We need to find the ritual site and deal with the witch pikes before they unleash the Herald Storm on the city. Inside. Cross the bridge or use the sluice gate to get into the inner courtyard. Then find the keep's side entrance east of the main stairs. I'll stay with Svana and Fen. Make sure they don't get themselves killed. We'll meet you inside as soon as we can. Alright, how am I going to recognize this ritual site? That's a good question. 
I didn't see anything when I scouted the exterior, so the witch pikes must be somewhere inside the keep. I expect that once we find Spargrim and Rada al Saran, we'll also find the ritual site. Great. Okay. <clears throat> Sluice gate. Yeah, I could brute force my way in straight through the front door, but let's face it, that's just stupid. Let's get keep. <clears throat> I tried to let myself in.
Okay, so apparently I got wire cross I need to come back this way. is a ripper of molten shit. <laughs> Everything to make the adventure just that much more enjoyable. Especially with the reeking smell of sulfur. Nice of you to join us. I don't understand. What am I supposed to do with these flasks? We run into trouble, throw one of them at the source. Then get out of the way. Uh, this sounds kind of unsafe. to disrupt it. Split up? I suppose that makes sense. I'll go with our friend here. Well, that second undead still needs to build a fire. Loot. Wait, what? The sultry Argonian bard. That's about the other scrolls and Tamriel in general. I had a thing for horny Argonians. Hello. This looks important. Recognize the handwriting. It's Singalis's. It's more of his research. Parastorms, witch pikes, nether room brew. How it all works together for the benefit of the Greyhurst. Okay. Anything good? Hmm. This might be something. A 
I just need to skim through these assumptions and incantations. What's this? Instructions on the placement of runes throughout Greymoor. All the way to... My gods. This entire tower. It's a witch pike. I think I'm gonna need a bigger hammer. The magic I sensed earlier. It was familiar because it's the same magic used in the Harrowstorm rituals. Don't you see? This entire keep is the ritual site. They turned the tower into a witch pike. And at the scale, it's inconceivable. Okay, so... Giant witch pike, what's the point of that? And uh, how do we kill it? I... I'm not sure we can destroy this tower. We need to keep going. Find a way to disrupt the ritual. But I think I understand what they're doing. Tingalis found a way to release the Grey Host from Cold Harbor by using the Harrow Storms. How? The Harrow Storms steal life energy and use it to pull the souls of the Grey Host out of Cold Harbor and into the Grey Reliquaries. It's quite ingenious. How they reincorporate, though. It has something to do with those stone husks, I think. Okay, was there anything else important in there? Oh, most certainly. Perhaps even a way to reverse the effects of the Harrow Storms and restore the Harrowed. If the notes are complete, it would just require study, experimentation, and time. Unfortunately, we lack all three of those at the moment. Indeed. Okay, so that means we probably need to poke around. Okay. the cats are on the walls. Okay, into the rotunda with the... Lyris, Svana. I think this entire tower functions as a witch pike. What? Ben, how is that even possible? Before we go up. Oh. You and Fen take these stairs. Svana and I will go this way. Uh, I wonder okay, if we can just fuck this up and have it. Just like the storm they plan to unleash on the city.
good to get the blood pumping, right? Good. Stairs down the hall. Hmm. Good luck. Yeah, I can stay there. And so the thrones arrive once more to prick my bones. Up there. And Brother Alcelon? Your persistence begins to annoy me. You killed my beloved brother and sister, Singalis and Ulfra. I freed them, and you sent them back. Back to the hated Moloch Ball. I will see you suffer for the transgression. All right, then. Drop the burn this fish, you bitch. As much as it would please me to flay the flesh from your bones, I have more pressing matters to attend to. But know this. As I felt each death, you shall feel it when the Harrow Storm takes every life in solitude. You shall feel it when you fail. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Bold words, but futile. Svargrim rises and the Harrow Storm with him. Once the attunement is finished, they will be unstoppable. What happened? What did that damn vampire do? He's merging the power flowing through the keep with Svagri, giving him control of the Harrowstorm. Then you must undo it. I'll stay and help. Leaders, you and that friend keep going up and find my father. Ready to fight.
Let's run over Keep here. Moving. Come on, push Don't this. Let them surround us. Dead end. We weren't Damn. able to stop the attunement spell. It's just getting stronger. That tower, it must lead to the upper levels. I need time to get that door open. Everyone, protect Ben! Ah, hell. It's getting worse. Damn magic! Give me something to hit! The magic! Sounds are on! The attunement is almost complete! So high up, but still far beneath the ground. Not entirely sure where I'm going. Just kind of following this person since they. Somebody has pretty beat up gear. Yeah. Dungeon King, in our moment of triumph, what game do you play, Radha al Saran? Game? I gave you power. If you can't conquer Skyrim, the fault is your own. Connected to Castle Dower. Now ascend to the tower of the wind and unleash my will, most potent arrow storm. The Grey Host is counting on you, little But Raga al Saran, I think he's leaving. Interesting. Lyris assumed the Grey Host was preparing to attack, but it's just as possible they're relocating their forces. We'll figure that out later, after we stop my father. Fair enough. Friends, lead the way. Real quick. Okay, choose one. Spellcaster warrior. Good spellcaster, I think. Is 
kidnap then? Oh, nothing. Just don't look down. But you don't have a fear of heights, do you? Wow, this thing was right underneath Castle Dower. These tunnels look freshly dark. The Grey Host has certainly been busy. Harrowfiends. Is that what became of the Harrow Svavrin brought to Castle Dower? That seems the most likely Harrow answer. Fiends. Corralled like warhounds about to be set loose. We can try to spell out. Does on me in Skyrim. I never actually go into Hot Castle Dar very often. <coughs> the attacks of just sent enemies flying. It's begun. Look, above the tower of the wolf. Storm's only partial fault. My father's up there. Open the gates and let's go. But the Harrow feeds below the temple. If they escape into the streets. You and I will keep that from happening. Take the princess and deal with Spargrim, partner. I... Yes. It's the only option. Let's go. Okay. Here's how things don't get fucked up. <coughs> Behind us. The Herophies. They've broken loose. Get to the tower. Let's stop Sparkle. We'll hold the gate. I'm with you, my friend. Up the stairs. We need to get up the ramp and onto the walls. That's our way to the Tower of the Wolf. Come to bear witness to my ascent. Rada Al-Faram has given me power.
so there's always the ankle biters. That one looks like Jared Leto. Focus and concentration is required. for every soul in Skyrim. Your ambition, your greed, look what it led to. We need to hurry. It did not sound like anything good happening. Is this ash? My father betrayed everything to aid the Grey Host. With his death, solitude is saved. It's done. We killed my father and ended the Herostorm. The city still stands. Skyrim still stands. Although the Tower of the Wolves may have been damaged beyond repair. Uh, are you okay? No, of course not. My father was the High King of Western Skyrim. I always thought he had the best interests of our holds and our people in his heart. But there was a darkness there. Jealousy, bitterness. He wanted to control all of Skyrim. So, this was just a power grab? For Svargrim? Yes, I think it was. As for Radha al Saran and the Grey Host, I am not entirely sure what they're after. Enough of this. I need to get to work. With my father gone, someone has to pick up the pieces and restore the holds. Well, let me know if there's anything you need me to do. First, on behalf of Western Skyrim, take this with my thanks. We would have been lost without you. Then rest. Check on our friends. Injuries must be tended to, buildings repaired. Other wounds will take longer. We'll have more to do soon enough. Whatever Radha al Saran and the Grey Host were planning, I think the worst is behind us as far as Western Skyrim is concerned. 
With my father... With Svargrim dead, their grip on the holes comes to an end. So I guess that means you're in charge now. Not officially. At least I don't think so. I feel like the whole world's crumbling around me. But the city's still standing, so that's something. I'm more worried about our friends. We left Lyris and Fen to hold off a horde of hero fiends. Yeah, I should probably go check on them. Hopefully they were able to hold the courtyard and keep those monsters out of the city. You go on ahead and check on them. I need to collect myself. Solitude needs Princess Svana now. And I'm not quite ready to be her. Alright, let's I'll go see if I can find the others. Thank you. Help them and anyone else as best you can. I'll do the same. Once you're done with them, I'll find you and we can figure out what to do next. Alright, so you think we're alright now? Gods, I hope so. Haven't we dealt with enough already? I need to see what happens firsthand. All the suffering and pain my father caused. I can't undo it, but I can make amends. Or at least try to. All right, then. That might actually be Ash. to see you in solitude, stranger. I really hate how it does that. He just likes to hop onto whatever the hell it feels like instead of staying on target and going to where it needs to go. Tell me truthfully, Lyris. How much of this blood is mine? Not enough to be worried about. Hey, are we okay? Lyris? So, is it over? What happened to Svargrim? And where's Svana? Well, Svargrim's dead. Svana seems to be okay. She needed a second, but, uh, she won't make it down. Make sure everybody's alright. A parent's betrayal cuts deeper than a sword. But Svana's strong. Stronger than she's been given credit for. And Solitude's going to need that strength in the coming days. Do you really think she can handle that? If you told me the tavern rat we met at the Lonely Troll would become my choice to lead this land, I'd have called you mad. Then again, my king's a scald, so what do I know? Come on, there's probably something productive we should be doing. Such as? Last I heard, Sword Thane Uthlet was gathering everyone he could at the Hall of the Dead. Head over there and see how they weathered the Harrowstorm. I'll take care of securing Castle Dower. As for Fen, you might remind him we need a lot of elixir. Uh, what happened with the Horde, by the way? We did our best to hold the Harrow Fiends inside Castle Dower, but nothing short of stone walls were going to keep those monsters from pushing through. Seemed like everyone I killed was replaced by two more. So how, uh, well, you know. Almost didn't. We were nearly overrun before Fen went wild. I've never seen him like that. Snarling and showing what a true vampire can do. Took the Harrow Fiends by surprise and we routed them. I did have to thwack him to clear his head, though. Okay. Ben? You did it. I shouldn't be surprised. But things were looking rather bleak before the clouds parted. Uh. What Lyris was saying about the Horde, uh. You, wh huh? We held the gates as long as we could. The Harrow Fiends were a flood of claws and teeth. Once they burst through, Lyris cleaved through them like a scythe through wheat. And 
even she couldn't stem the tide. Okay, and? I... I'm not really sure. I kind of went wild. Let out my inner beast, as it were. I was rending and slashing. Then Lyris whacked me with the flat of her blade. At least that's the last thing I remember. Not my finest hour, but we survived. Okay, so what now? The sword thing gathered people in the Hall of the Dead. Go check on them while I pull myself together. This whole ordeal has been a lot more strenuous than I'm accustomed to. Then I'll get to work on the elixir and the cure for the Herald. And the Herald fiends? Sadly, I don't think there's any hope for them. Their life energy was sucked dry, turning them into feral beasts. Restoring them is beyond my capabilities, I'm afraid. At least with the Herald, they're not so far gone as to be a lost cause. And uh, this gunk is going to protect everyone, right? As soon as we produce enough of it, yes. We saw how it protected Svana. Now, where did I put my flask? That's a good question. Let me know if you need a drink, by the way. kind of supposed to fall into the uh, lately into the trope of the whole crushing moron hidden badass kind of thing you know basically seems kind of like a, a oh for god's sake like uh, he seems like he'd be uh, kind of a you know, little bit knock my cat off for cat a little bit of a goofball and all of a sudden you know shit hits the fan serious talk happens and he just straight up turns into a doom guy just yet. We saw the storm break, but we heard nothing since you departed from Blackreach. Hey there. I regret we didn't throw a beret to welcome you back, but I'll cheer enough for a hundred souls if you tell me you put that backbiter of a high king to the sword. But what of Svala? Is she? Don't worry, she's okay. The king, not so much. That's good, but a daughter shouldn't have to kill her own father. Svana has my support. Or whatever that's worth. She's going to need all the help she can get in the days to come. So that makes her the queen then, eh? Not until we hold a moot to support her claim, and we need more than a single Jarl for that to occur. If Svana proves herself as the acting Jarl, we might look past her father's failings and make her the queen. Eventually. Well, so far she seems to be pretty capable of handling it. We can settle the matter of the crown when there's kingdom enough to rule. What remains of the holds are still ravaged by the harrow storms, and I doubt we've seen the last of the Grey Host, for that matter. Any word from uh, your particular stretch of track? None good, but none bad either. My wife knows better than anyone how to care for our people. I trust she and my things protect and care for Morthal in my absence. All right then. Sorthane. We seem to have survived, thank the gods. I thought for certain we were all about to witness the end of the world. Well, Solitude is still standing. No thanks to Svargrim, damn his eyes. After you and the princess went off to Blackreach, I gathered whoever we could and made our stand here in the Hall of the Dead. I'm just glad we don't have to be permanent residents. So, nothing major, or...? Far fewer than I feared when the storm began. Thanks to you and the princess, with the storm over and the Grey Host driven from Castle Dower, my soldiers <laughs> will get the city Damn. back into shape. As long as no one else attacks us in the meantime. Well, I'll let you get to it. They're here! They're at the gates! The Grey Host? I thought we were done with them for now. Not the Grey Host! The Scold King with an army from the east! What treachery is this? To the uh. gates. We'll give the Skull King a proper welcome. One way or another. Uh, guys, maybe you should let me do the talking here. Okay, trust me, I know him, and uh, this, this, yeah, just simmer down, otherwise this could turn out bad. Okay, city gates. I gotta remember 
my way around town. Shit. Stand down, you idiot! We come in peace! Partner, could really use your knack for diplomacy right now. Speak to the Skull King before we start a war. Sure shame me from fools and prophets. Will no one properly greet a weary traveler? Let's go, right? How you doing? I know that there's little love between East and West. But now is not the time to be picking a fight. Um, question. Why are you here? Lyris's report on the rise of Greyhost had my father preparing for the worst. When we hadn't received word for some time, he decided to intercede. Well, fortunately that wasn't necessary, but it almost was. Stargrim, it's hard to believe the rumors were true. I didn't know him well, but I can't understand how anyone could throw away everything for the promise of power. What's immortality worth if there's nothing you hold dear? Indeed, your dad's not gonna try to take his place here, right? You'd have to ask him. As far as I can tell, the Western Holds are in chaos. They could use a king who cares for his fellow Nords. But if the welcome we've received here is any indication, Solitude won't see it that way. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and talk to your dad here. Yordan! A oh, familiar face. Maybe you can talk some sense into these Western milk drinkers. We're not a damn invasion. We're here to help. Do you know what's going on? Yes, yes I do. Uh, Greyhouse was behind the attacks, bunch of vampires, werewolves, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Hiking Sparkle, he was uh, kind of in cahoots, and we had to, we had, uh, well, he, he's, he's kind of dead now. So the rumors are true? Svargrim joined the Grey Host? I knew he had ambitions, but to throw away his humanity like that, it's inconceivable. Svargrim once told me that he would die before welcoming me to solitude. I suppose he was right. Yeah, look, these guys fucked up a lot of shit. Uh, everybody here could really use some, a little bit of help. That's why I sent Lyris here in the first place. I'm not the king of these holds, though. I can't do anything if they refuse my help. Svargrim despised me. He would never accept my aid. But Svarna... Ah, here she comes now. Let's see what she has to say. Okay, okay. Well, let's see how this turns out. We have no need of help that involves welcoming your soldiers within our walls. My walls, Yarl. My father may have been willing to slap aside the helping hand, but I'm not. Permit me a word with your envoy, Skull King. Thank you for holding the line, Emil. I am ready to do what I should have done a long time ago. To do what my father never could. I'll speak with the Skull King. There's one more thing I'd like you to do while I entertain our guests. Sure, whatever you need. We saved Solitude, but our war with the Grey Host is far from over. We need Fen's Elixir more than ever. With that, and King Joran's help, we might just push these monsters back into their grave for good. Check on Fen's progress, please. Alright, is there anything else? That depends on Fen. If there's anything standing in his way, let me know, and I'll do everything in my power to get him what he needs. Alright, I'll get on that. Fen is with old Mjolnir at the Mage's Guild. Okay. When you're finished with him, join me in the courtyard of the Blue Palace. I'm going to hold a moment of remembrance for this city. We all need a moment to mourn what we lost. Uh, and your uh, guess? I'm going to invite the Scald King to join us. If the people of Solitude see him bow his head along with the rest of us, they may not care about the divide between the East and the West. All right, well, good luck with that. Personally, I think I'd rather hang out with the vampires. Actually, no, for a fact, I'd rather. <laughs> They're actually not crazy. Pleased to see you in solitude, stranger. Right, what the hell are they? Hello. 
Hello there. Kerflump. Ingenious. Ah. A rare thing to find an elf with the makings of a clever woman. Despite what my kin might proclaim, it's not all in the blood. Ah, good, you're here. We've made a breakthrough. I was just discussing a theory with Mjoln, and it seems like we're very close to turning this elixir into a true restorative. Okay, and can you put that in English, please? A cure. Singolus's research on the nether root showed me just how it weakens the connection between a body and its soul. Thus far, I've been able to inure a person to the root, but now I'm certain I can use that knowledge to heal those weakened bonds. Okay, uh, just out of curiosity, how fast can you actually end up cranking this stuff out? Well, it is just a theory at this point. There's a lot more testing and experimentation to be done before we can produce a viable antidote. Weeks? Optimistically? Yes, Wanda kind of needs this now. Uh, she wanted me to come down here and make sure everything is going smoothly. I know, I know. We can't simply put things on hold. Mjolind and I have a batch brewing right now, and materials to keep producing for another day. Ingert promised us a steady supply of Arkay's oil, but that's not our limiting factor. Okay, so what's going on? We know enough about Singolus' refinement processes to replicate his methods. We still need a source of netherroot to do so. Tell Svana that if she can keep us supplied, we can produce enough elixir for all the holds in a matter of weeks. Okay. And where do we get the root? We can ransack Greyhost stockpiles, or mount an expedition into Blackreach. Otherwise, it would take decades of work to produce a proper crop. After we get the elixir squared away, we'll turn our attention to curing the herd. Will those notes say anything about the uh, river quarries and the stone husk? Indeed. As I surmised, the Grey Reliquaries contained the remains of ancient Greyhost warriors. They served as a connection to the souls trapped in cold horror. Using the energy from the Harrow Storms, the souls were pulled into the stone husks. So what was the purpose of the husks? I believe the stone husks are incubators of a sort. The physical forms of the Grey Host are reincorporated within the stone vessels through a mix of Zingolus's alchemy and sorcery and the magic of the Ice Reach witches. When whole, they burst free. Gross. Okay. Well, yes, I look forward to the day when all vampires are going to have a willing donor and not be seen as nothing but mindless monsters. you'd return before we began. Tell me you've got good news. Just let someone actually have to MC this bitch. I'll feel a lot better delivering a speech about healing and hope, knowing that we're on the road to recovery. What did Fen have to say about the elixir? 
Yeah, they got a bash cooking up right now, but they're gonna need more nether roots soon. Not the best news, but I'll take it. So long as we have enough to protect our soldiers, we have a fighting chance against the Grey Host. I'll go to the Undergrove myself, if that's what it takes. Uh, he also thinks he can cure the Herald. Now that would be cause for celebration. If he can really bring back even a fraction of those we lost to the Harrow Storms, I'm willing to try. That's all I needed to hear. We should begin the ceremony before the crowd grows more restless. Do you have a plan? Nothing fancy. Just a traditional Nord wake. To mourn and celebrate those we've lost, and cherish the lives we still have. I'd like you to join us. This is going to involve getting massively drunk, isn't it? None of us would be here to sing dirges for the dead or celebrate the living if not for you. I certainly wouldn't be here, ready to leave my hold. You've supported me since I started down this path. I'm honored to have you here at the end. You saw what I got the space for this? Yeah! Sons and daughters of Skyrim, we have the honor today of remembering the dead. Honor to the fallen! Sons and daughters of Skyrim, our trials were fierce, but we are still here. We stand and we remain. Now, we raise our voices to tell Sovereign Guard of the coming of the worthy dead, and to tell the world that the Nords are still here. We are still standing. The fallen now march home to hallowed halls. To join our ancestors in boundless drink and song and brawls. Let sound the horns, let peal the bells, let loose the ancient hymn. We will remain until time ends, we children of Skyrim. I'm done. Right, well, nice little song. Everybody seems to be getting along. Um, yeah, doodles. There's, keep in touch. Okie dokie. As far as the rest of the shit goes, I was kind of hoping that uh, maybe use Fenori to get through the vampire tree without actually having to go through the rig world doing that. Obviously, the easiest way to go vampire is find somebody that's willing to give it to you. Although most people will charge for it otherwise. I remember way back when, when I first started, when it comes to actually going vampire, uh, you actually had to find a specific NPC and get into a fight with them. The problem is. Because it was kind of a rare field event. A bunch of profiteering idiots went ended up taking their high-level characters. Please to the shit out of it. solitude, stranger. And basically, if you want to go vampire, they'd more or less extort you for a bite. I don't know if they still do that, hopefully not, but uh, yeah, that was one of the uh, early irritations from uh, the player community way back when. On the plus side, though, I did manage to actually get that on one character by basically just getting lucky. But anyway, that is, I believe, it for, I think, Grey War, so I'll just up text is. Possibly either taking care of some of this shit or hopping on to the next one. 24 or 25. I ought to just go ahead and do some of these. Oh, anyway, that's gonna be next time. It is ooh, <laughs> coming on 230. Let's see here. Skills, I have a skill point. I can put a skill into what is impulse. Out 
that so I can completely fire this off without completely killing everything in front of me. It is going on 2.30 in the morning. I am way over my 4 hour limit. I'll be back tomorrow, barring anything weird happening. Tomorrow should be something with split. I'm not entirely sure exactly. Oh shit, okay. What we're doing. Okay. But that's going to be tomorrow. Like I said, provided something weird doesn't happen on her end. She uh, seems to have. Encountering a fair amount of internet issues lately. So, hopefully, that won't be an issue tomorrow. Anyway, that is pretty much it for this. For everyone watching, thanks for watching. I hope everyone was entertained. If I can, everyone watching the previous, you're still looking here again. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone was entertained. You know that. It uh, takes a while to get out of here. I should have just done this inside the gates. <laughs> ah, elsewhere. That's an idea. so I can get out of here. Thank you. Alright, good. Hey, game, let me out. I don't believe I am free. Okay, so. Right. So. Over oh, has a wonderful morning, new night, whatever it is, whatever you are. I will see you all again next time. I have got to go. Oof.